Good idea with the bag, I guess, if you want to watch a movie through a plastic bag. But <laughs> another way, I mean, they can hold the darn thing. They're not doing anything I else. I feel so old because I'm, I'm, I said immediately, these kids have it easy compared to how we did, right? Yeah. You did a crossword puzzle or <laughs> something. You didn't have video games and cell phones and everything. No, and I don't know. I don't know if I want to see the plastic bag going. I, I was just thinking, like you were saying, I don't want to watch it through there. But it's certainly easier to travel now as a family because yeah. you've got a lot of other distractions. Yeah. You've got your phone. You've got Videos, all the yeah. yeah. All right, 4th of July coming up. What are we thinking here, Kev? Uh, mentioning if you're traveling, you're probably going to be impacted by weather off and on through the holiday weekend here as we face the threat for some storms in here on Wednesday. In fact, tomorrow, the main concern will be the potential for some storms with strong winds. But this won't only be a concern for tomorrow, but between now and let's say through Friday even, we'll have this on and off threat for strong to severe storms, primarily strong winds initially being the main concern, but there will also be the potential for heavy rainfall and there is a non zero tornado threat as well. It's hot outside today. Temperatures right now are hovering right around 90 degrees for most of us. Fortunately, though, humidity levels have remained low, so they're not much of an issue out there at this time. That will change tomorrow as it is going to get a lot muggier and a lot faster for us. In fact, we do have the threat for severe weather across the tri-state as we head into the day on Wednesday, and we'll also have a threat even into Thursday, too. So here's kind of what to expect heading into the 4th of July week. Weekend, we're going to see a surge in humidity and that will bring with it the threat for showers and storms as a front just kind of stays in place across our region. Here's a look at future cast. It's pretty quiet tonight. Tomorrow will start dry and it's going to get hot in a hurry tomorrow. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Early tomorrow, humidity is going to be much higher than it is now. I don't think there's much before lunchtime or even into the early afternoon. But I do think after 2 or 3 p.m., we start to see scattered storms developing across the area. And these storms will likely organize into some sort of line, and this will drop through the area tomorrow evening. So I suspect it's going to be a stormy evening tomorrow, and we'll probably have a number of severe thunderstorm warnings across the area as this kind of line of storms works its way across the area. Now, the positive side of this, we need the rainfall, okay? Similar to what we saw over the weekend. So we'll take the rain. We just don't want the severe concerns. And with that front in our vicinity through at least Friday, I think we're going to have the on and off threat for some stormy weather out there. So right now we're at 90 degrees. Not bad, though, because humidity is quite low. Look at that 33% and look at the dew point at 57. Let me show you, though, what is coming our way eventually. So we're warm this evening. We'll stay in the 80s through 9 o'clock. Notice lows tonight only down into the 70s, and here's the reason why. Look at this surge of muggy air coming up through Kentucky tonight. See those dew points creeping up towards 70? Not very far away, it's pretty humid, and that humid air moves in through the rest of the evening and tonight on south winds. So tonight only 72, so not quite as cool as it was last night. And then tomorrow, steamy sunshine with the surge in humidity will creep into the low 90s. It will feel probably like it's right around 100, and then we'll have the threat for those storms after 2 or 3 tomorrow evening. So I do expect for it to be a little bit of a busy weather day tomorrow evening as you're tuning in about this time. Here's your 7-day forecast. All right, we've got shower and thunderstorm opportunities right through the 4th of July. They're likely Thursday, likely to have some in here on Friday as well. By the weekend, we should get a break in this stormy weather and pretty comfortable weather in here for the actual weekend itself. And then going into next week, we're back into those storms. So Mike and Sheree, again, it looks like we're kind of done with the extreme heat for a while, and it's going to turn over to more of a stormier pattern. Unfortunately, the timing not the best with the holiday this week. All right, Kev, appreciate that.